any work that is being done here at Sensory Spectrum that um, you are proud of and that does stand in defense of the of the R&D Charter? Uh, I can think of several examples, but I'm going to give you one example. We had a client come to us a couple of years ago with a 70-year-old iconic brand that had been, they had been slicing the bologna just a little bit too much over the years, cost reduction, cost reduction, cost reduction. Not only was the product failing to meet its standard historical hedonic hurdle, it was also losing sales volume to a young upstart competitor. And after three years of internally at the company doing design of experiments, the company was unable to move the product back up to what it used to be. And they came to us and in a two month period, we were able to develop some very creative uh, methodology using lapsed and loyal users to come in and we commissioned them to fix the product. And we not only told them they needed to help the product developers fix it, we helped them explain to the product developers what, what, how to fix it. So if the consumer was, was struggling with a word to describe it to the product developer like, um, um, it needs to be more flaky, we would bring into the consumers a croissant, a cracker, and a pie crust and say, which kind of flaky do you mean? And so it could be more clear to the product developer. This was done iteratively. The consumers would tell the product developers what to do. They would fix something, they would come back, and the consumers would say yes or no. And at the end of two months, we were able to go out to a completely new group of consumers and get that hedonic rating in excess of what was required and they had regained sales and they were able to put a spot uh, advertisement on the box that said now like the original product cool thank you